What's up guys, how's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys 10 free tweaks that are iOS 16 compatible and work on serotonin and the Root Hide Bootstrap. This top tweaks video is specifically for serotonin and the Root Hide Bootstrap only. If you're using something like dopamine, please keep in mind that these tweaks may or may not work for you and may even cause issues, especially if you're trying to install the first five tweaks in this video that were specifically compiled for the Root Hide Bootstrap. This video was recorded before dopamine released. However, now that dopamine is out, I have a tutorial on how to jailbreak with dopamine. If you're curious at all, go ahead and check the description or in the cards. If you haven't semi jailbroken with serotonin yet, a tutorial can be found down below in the description or in the cards. And I show you guys how to go through the process and how to do it. However, as I suggest in that video, it's very important to only do this if you know what you're doing and if you feel comfortable troubleshooting any potential issues that come up. It's a bit more stable now since it's not the 1.0 version, but still, please be very careful and make sure that you're only doing things that you understand how to do. Tweaks discussed in this video, as always, are down below in the description. The first five tweaks in this video are custom compiled for the Root Hide Bootstrap. These tweaks should install without any extra steps, such as patching the tweaks mat. Because of this, I wouldn't attempt to install the first five on anything but the Bootstrap. With that being said, let's get into the video. This tweak lets you get the iPad OS dock on your iPhone. It works just like you'd expect, and you can even open the app library right from your dock. This tweak allows you to place the date under the time in the status bar view. Looks pretty cool. This tweak lets you give your battery custom colors depending on what battery percentage it's at. You can customize it in the settings and it looks really good. You can also swipe down and you can see the color that you selected becomes the color that's filled in. With this tweak, swipe on the bottom left corner to bring up Notification Center and swipe on the bottom right hand corner to bring up Control Center. This is pretty useful if you have a Pro Max device and it might be hard for you to reach it one handed. No functionality is lost however, as swiping in the middle still brings up your spotlight search. With the Root High Bootstrap being the way it is, this tweak is definitely a must install. This tweak does a number of different things from a troubleshooting standpoint. Going into the settings, there's a number of different options. Global Tweak Configuration allows you to go in and individually enable or disable certain tweaks without having to uninstall them. I can go ahead and turn Snowboard off and you can see when I respring, Snowboard is disabled without me having to uninstall the tweak. To install the rest of the tweaks in this video, you'll need to manually patch them. Make sure you have the Root Hide Patcher installed. To install the patcher, tap Get Patcher in Cilio. Install the patcher and any packages that come with it. Then go ahead and tap Convert on this message that pops up. Then open the .deb file in the Patcher app. Tap convert.deb. Once that finishes, you can go ahead and tap OK. And then from there, you can export the converted.deb file back into Cilio. Then you can tap on Get, and then you can go ahead and install it inside of Cilio and restart your springboard. And then here you go. Here's the tweak installed. And this tweak is the next tweak on our list. Snowboard is a theming engine and it allows you to completely customize the icons on your device and make them look pretty cool. You can even go ahead and adjust the corner radiuses of the icons and make them circular if you want. There's lots of different themes that you can get both free and paid and it's definitely a cool thing to customize your device. Next up we have Atria and you can already see that as you can see it says good morning apple attack and that is thanks to this tweak. It allows for some cool customization to your springboard. If I double tap on my springboard, it says, what would you like to edit? Home screen pages, dock, and it gives you a variety of different options. I can go ahead and edit how many rows of icons I have. I can change the size of my icons so I can have them as big as I want and they can fill the entire screen. Or I can have them as small as I want and you can barely even see them. And the greeting is also a really cool touch as well. This tweak adds a close button to your app switcher and allows you to close out of all of your currently open applications all at once. This is a pretty cool multitasking tweak that allows you to have multiple applications open all at once and interact with them all at the same time. This is pretty cool. So I've seen tweaks color icon badges before, but I've never seen a tweak color icon labels before. This is really cool and it colors everything from the badges to the actual labels and everything is colored exactly like the icon. Visually, this looks great and with different snowboard themes, this is a really cool tweak to have. 
And we have a couple of bonus tweaks as well that didn't make the initial top 10 list because it's a bit more complicated to install these tweaks. I'm going to show you how to do it. So unfortunately, Cylinder Reborn, which could be found in the Shara's repo, does not actually work on Root Hide. For Root Hide, you have to use the Cylinder Remade.deb. Just download it from the GitHub repo in the description and open it in the Patcher application. From there, you'll want to use the Directly Convert Simple Tweaks toggle, then convert it and tap OK and open up the Converted.deb inside of Cilio. Tap Get to install the tweak. Respring and once your device comes back up, swipe up to unlock and you can see Cylinder is now working. This tweak fixes the dynamic island view on older devices and brings it down a little bit and it looks much better this way. For this tweak, you'll need to download the .deb file for your device and then go ahead and open it through Cilio and install it, restart your springboard, and here's the settings for it. You can use the default setup and hide the pill when it's not in use, which I definitely recommend doing. But in order to use this particular tweak, you'll need to enable the dynamic island with dynamic cal first. And I have countless tutorials now at this point showcasing how to do that. It took a little while, but the dynamic island is now fixed on older devices. And this is a much better implementation than just enabling Apple's default code as things were cut off and it just didn't look right. I really like the idea to make the island transparent as well. That looks really cool. This tweak makes the island disappear automatically if the island isn't in use, and that's a really good idea. This tweak can be downloaded from an actual repo, however, the implementation here in the 1.0 release is not as good as it can be. And the developer actually said they're going to take more time and add more things to it, fix up more bugs, but as it stands for me right now, this is what it looks like trying to use it on my iPhone 11, and it just bugs out. So I would say for now, until bugs are fixed, Mindland is probably the way to go. This is just the beginning for dynamic island tweaks, and I can't wait until more things are done with it. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell, so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one guys. Peace.